Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. Last time we got through the phase on mines here and got ourselves the power bomb, which is a fantastical new weapon that will blow up just about anything, just about. But anywho, now we got to make our way back out the phase on mines, which should be a fun time. We literally will go back the way we came minus one shortcut path that we will take along the way. We don't exactly know what our next move here is. We might get a, a an idea of that soon if uh, another, what do you call it, like one of those hints pops up again. It may pop up as I head my way back out of here. I'm not sure. Anyway, we just got to make our way back to the door we came in and head back the way we came. It's as simple as that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, what room is this? This is the Dynamo Access. I'm trying to remember if there's anything along the way on the way back out. I think there is, but not till we get to a very specific room along the way. Oh, but don't forget, remember all those elite pirates we saw along the way when we were going through this place the first time? They're alive! Hit him with a missile pack. I mean missile pack, super missile. Hit him with another super missile, or not. Charge it up, bro. Charge it up, bro. Super missile. Boom, son. Oh, damn. Two super missiles will destroy them. No wonder last episode I destroyed them so hardcore. Man, that was some bitchin' ass bitch. Anyway, if we're killing that asshole, we just keep on going through. Just keep on through, breaking through to the other side, you know? Oh, might not want to blow that up in your face next time, brilliant man. Not that I need anything other than missile packs. I'm just kind of, Oh, oh, this room again, eh? Okay, so now we can deal with this room. If you are wondering how we do that, I believe we blow this up. Or, actually, I take that back. Let's go back out of this room. I'm pretty sure there's an alternative path into this room. Or something like that, maybe. Could you open the door, please? Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Oh, great. The fucking enemies respawn in this room. Oh, that's the least thing I... Wait. Hold on. What room is this? This is Omega Research, right? We want to go... Oh, I did miss it. My bad. Fuck, now I gotta kill... Now I gotta kill big... Ah, gotta kill troopers again. Great. That's totally what I wanted to do today. Kill more fucking wave troopers that I don't have to. Because I'm stupid. And all I did was go one room. Why do enemies have to respawn after one room? What does this game think it is? Legend of Zelda? And I don't mean the later Legend of Zelda's where that doesn't happen. I mean the newer Legend of Zelda's. I mean the newer, the older. Oh, oh, that's a power bomb recharge. I gotta scan one of those. I haven't scanned one of those yet. I don't want to waste my fucking missile packs on these guys either. Fuck it, just go like this. When all else fails against a power trooper, just go like this. Since charge shots are un unreliable since they shoot straight, you're better off just mashing A until an enemy dies. You really are. It's really not a bad way to go. I thought he died. Oh, we're using a missile. One missile doesn't work on power troopers, man. You know this already. Oh, great. Fucking great. That's totally not what I wanted to do. Oh, my God. This is bad. It's all bad. Super bad. Worse than Jonah Hill. Super bad. Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop being such a noob. This is not what I signed up for. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, will you drop a power bomb thing so I can, no? Fine, don't do that. Wait, he did drop one, cool. So I can scan it and have that scanned. Thank you very much for that, sir. Now, the reason why I wanted to come back in here is because I'm pretty sure there's another door. Yeah, the other door that, that's in this room. I can get to it now. Oh, that's why I fucked up. Okay, that's why I didn't remember. Because it's not on the ground floor. You actually do have to come back up here. But now that we can get it, we can go across here. Ah, this is what I was looking for. See this pile of rubble? We can now blow it up with a power bomb. All you gotta do is press Y, by the way, when you're in morph ball form. And in here, we get ourselves another map station. Yay! We actually get a map of the place that we've already been in for the last whole episode and a half. Not that it's not useful, because it is. Uh, but it is required for 100%, I'm pretty sure. Anywho. That's cool. That's cool. Now that we've done that, pretty sure... Wait. Actually... Yeah. 
right? Yeah, we just go back into the ventilation shaft now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just go this way now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Sorry, I'm getting lost on my guide here. Yeah, okay, we can do something in here. I'm tripping. Maybe we just have to use a power bomb to see what happens. I'm pretty sure the power bomb does something. Yeah, okay, it opens up a hole in the ground. All right, now I'm remembering. Okay, now we're good. And then you come up in here, and you scan this, and boom. That's how you turn off the ventilation thing, so the poison will go away. And for making the poison go away, you blow all those little bastards into the wall. And, yay for us, we have unlocked another energy tank, if you couldn't tell what that was. And I think this actually gives us 11 energy tanks. I think I counted wrong before. Did I count wrong before? I did. This is 11 right here. I said 11 last time I got one. But apparently I couldn't count my little dots. That gives us 11 right there. Okay then. Now that that's a thing. I think we have to go to the boost ball form to get the hell back out of here. The way we want to go. Yep. So let's hopefully I don't make, make this take up too much time. And we'll get the hell out of here. Shall we? Alright. Back to this room. What room is this? Oh man. Oh god. Invisible bitches. Ah, I didn't remember what room this was. All I know is I'm getting jumped. Just missiles. Just missiles. Missiles. Alright, got him. Any more? Okay. I'm waiting for the music to kick in, but I think it stopped already. I'm not sure if that's literally everything in here, though. I feel like there's more in here. The music's still playing. You know what? I think there is more in here. I think they're all invisible, though. So keep your thermal visor ready. Pretty sure there's gonna be more annoying sons of bitches in here. Just keep your missile pack. Or yep, look at all these red or heat signatures. I think that's the word for it. Heat signature. Anyway, just kind of knock them off their perches and let them come for you. I think the only problem with with uh, these thermal guy the thermal goggles is you can't really see through the walls. Like, in the sense that, like, that guy's behind the box. You couldn't see him until he came out from behind the box. Now, there's still one more right under me, and I don't think I can get to him, can I? Can I get to him so I can shoot him? Oh, yeah, I can from right here. Perfect! Let him come up the stairs and prepare to get blown your face off, son. Oh, fuck, I hit the ground. All right, three missiles, and you are dead, sir. Now we're clear. Clear! Whew. All right. Back through this room one more time. Now, is there anything in this room? This is Elite Control. I don't think there's anything in here right now, so let's just head. I think now we can go in that other door I was talking about. This door right here. I think this is the door that we can now go through. Maintenance tunnel. Is this the correct way to go? I feel like it is, but I also feel like it's not. No? Not the maintenance tunnel. Doesn't look like we're going that way yet. I am incorrect. Sue me. Just sue me. In that case, let's head back this way then. Fine, game. Don't let me go the way I haven't been yet. Let's keep going the way I've already been. I'm thinking of later. I got a little bit ahead of myself when I was last playing this game, so I've, I got pretty far. So I'm just not recalling all the stuff I'm able to do or that I already did. We just have to head back up this elevator and get back up to the first floor of the Phazon Mines. And then I think we'll be going an alternative route that we haven't been before. I'm just getting ahead of myself, that's all. Because I know we're, we're coming back out a different way than we came in, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm not mistaken in that regard. This room, oh god, this fucking room. Well, before we were able to just easily fly through this room. But now I'm just going to tank it, I don't care, I have enough... I have enough HP, or whatever you want to call it, energy. Oh man, this room again? Ugh, this fucking room. Alright, well in this room, you want to jump to over here. We could have gotten over here before, but we wouldn't have been able to get to anything. Because we need a power bomb to be able to blow that up. And get ourselves to the last of the, the thingies to make a bridge. And you can't see it, but the bridge thing is actually on the opposite side of here. So you just gotta make it connect to the opposite side. And now we gotta line up all the other floors. Aw, oh, crap. Fell to the bottom floor. Is there enemies in here? Okay, well I guess all the enemies are still gone, which is nice. 
Um, I think the room should still be set up to where we can go up to the second floor. If not, it's going to be annoying. I should I was I meant to drop to the second floor so I could line up the th the th uh, line up the third floor. I'm not sure where the third floor lines up though. Actually, I should probably look into that, shouldn't I? So the third floor is yellow. Where does it go right now? It currently goes to right there. Does that connect? No, it doesn't. I need to get it over there. So let's get over to where... No, wait. No, wait. Where am I? Oh, I'm up too high. My bad. I actually just want to be on the second floor. Which, where is that at? God, I'm wasting my own time here. This is ridiculous. Wasting my time and yours. Is it right below me? Man, I might have to line up the second floor and just get up there again. No, wait, there it is. Ah, oh, made it. Cool. All right, cool. So we just got to line up the yellows, which... I'm thinking I just have to spin it once, I think. Oh, no, definitely not. One more time? That should probably do it. I hope so. Let's hope that that, that worked. If not, well, that sucks. Let's see. Might have to line this one up, too. Nope, this is already lined up. And, ah, uh, we have to spin the second floor one more time. Damn it, I have to get back to the second floor. Ugh. How irritating. Well, whatever. Let's line up the first floor. Oh, we're going to have to spin everything anyway, so that's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine because it makes sense. Oh, God. Here, I was, I was dreading this room on the LP, too. I was like, man, if I fuck it up, then I'm going to be on this floor for, like, so long, and it's going to be really annoying. And here I am. Worst fear recognized. Pretty sure I just had to spin everything one more time, and we should be just fine now. Hopefully. Let's hope we're all good now. Where's the yellow one? There it is. Please be lined up. Please be lined up. Please be lined up so I don't have to do this anymore. And we're good. Safe and not sorry. Awesome. All right. So that's going to take us to this room. And in here, prepare yourselves for new equipment that we've had. No idea where we're about to get. The Grapple Beam. Yay, we're finally getting... I think that's the last ability that you start the game with that we have now finally obtained again. Because I don't think you start the game with the Power power Bomb, but you definitely start the game with the, with the Grapple Beam, and now we just finally got it back. So we can now do our best Spider-Man impression and get our ass from one uh, point A to point B pretty quickly, but only when you see these Grapple Points, which now that we have the Grapple Beam, we can now scan them. They're just grapple points. That's the only places you can grapple, so it's not quite as amazing as you would, would hope for. But pretty much every other Metroid game that has the grapple beam, you can only use it to on grapple points. It's not like you can grapple anything in the game. And in this game partic in particular, you can't even use the grapple beam on enemies. In other Metroid games, you could actually use the grapple beam on other enemies, like as a weapon. Which I thought was really cool. Like in Super Metroid, in specific I'm specifically talking about here when I say that. I remember just hitting enemies with a grapple beam and it actually would damage them. Pretty cool. In this game, not so much. But it is still a cool thing to have. It, it lets you get around places a lot easier. Anyway, now that we're back out here, we can use the crane to actually get ourselves to another, another power-up or whatever. And I know the stupid fucking sh pirates are over here shooting me again, you sons of bitches. Cut it out. I'm trying to do something. You're ruining my day, Shadow Pirates. Cut it out. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to fuck it up. Oh, God. Stop it. Just stop it. Where are you at? Get off me. Wow. One charge beam shot. Death. Okay. I think... Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Don't fall. Where did the crane go? Seriously, where did it go? I'm confused. Where did it go? Oh, it went, oh, I'm stupid. There's a grapple point now. I'm stupid. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, fuck my life. Whatever. Ah, get off me. Wait, there's still two of them to kill? I thought there was only four in this room. Apparently, they added a new one. Sons of bitches. All right, well, we killed them all. We're good. We're okay. Everything's okay. We just got to get back up here so we can use that point to grapple to. I fucked up. I think there might have been another point to grapple on fuck something up. I know there's a there's a thing around here somewhere. Seriously. Oh crap. Another 
mother... Ah, fuck, I fell. Not what I wanted to do. Not what I was trying to accomplish. The only reason I'm even here is because I want to get power-up that's in here. Isn't there power-up in here? Am I wrong? Am I wrong in saying that there's a power-up in here? Actually, you know what? I know of one power-up that we can go get right now, and I'm stupid for not even going to do this first. Maybe there isn't another power-up in here. I'm just tripping. I think I am just tripping. I know there's something else in the quarry area, but I don't know if I can do anything with it yet. Um, I am about to get jumped by motherfucking shadow pirates, so I can watch the fuck out right now. We got him. And I think this is the room I want to go to? Yeah, this is the room I want to be in. And the only reason I want to be in here is because I believe... Ah, here we go. There's a... this. I didn't even show you guys this room over here, but there's a wall here we, we can now blow up. And that'll oh, activate... Or I should say uncover another missile pack! Yay! I think that gives us 155 missiles. Awesome. You can never have too many missiles. And now, I think we're honestly done with the, the phase on mines for now. I told you, as much as I hate this place, we are not done here, not by a long shot. We will be back. Evidenced by the fact that there was plenty of other, other areas I didn't even show yet in there that I could have at least went that direction, but they would have been dead ends for me at that point, I think. I'm not exactly entirely sure, but I think so. Either way, we're done here. Where are we off to now? Well, let's see. Actually, we're not going to do that much backtracking. We're going to backtrack a few rooms, and we're going to go to a new area that we kind of passed on by on the way here to the Phazon Mines. Which means we don't have to go back through the frigate, which is amazing, because I hate the frigate. As I've probably already made it pretty clear that I hate the frigate. And if I didn't, by the way, guys, I hate the frigate. There, I said it again just to, just to, just to reiterate my point. But we just need to backtrack to this room right here, which is the Great Tree Hall or something like that. Great Tree. It's some kind of tree. And we just need to climb, climb, climb. Gotta do some climb. Climb, climb, climb. I hate this fucking room. I really hate this fucking room. Oh my god. And not even this room, so much as the room that follows this room, is even worse. At least I think it's the room that follows this room. And it's only worse because it's confusing. Because this room isn't really that bad. But man, just wait till we get to the next room. Seriously. Oh, God, this guy. This fucking guy. Get out of my face. Fucking blood flower bastard. In fact, I'm not even going to deal with you. I'm just going to go in the door. I'm wasting my time with you. Was I not? Wait, am I not? Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong way. You definitely have to go up from here. I'm mistaken. I am mistaken. What is shooting me? Oh, there's another blood flower up there. My bad. I was like, what the fuck is shooting me? How dare you? Fucking bastard. Pissing me off. Ah, I can make that jump. Stop being a noob. You can definitely make it. You just gotta pretend like you know how to play this game. From here, I think we can grapple or not. Or maybe not. Maybe we weren't supposed to go that way. Maybe we were just supposed to go this way. And I always thought this was a really cool uh, thing. Wait, why am I not latching on? I was going to say, that is a spider ball track, not. Yeah, you use the spider ball track, which is a really cool spirally type weird thing that is just kind of a, reminds me of a candy cane. Roll on up. Roll on out. Roll out like the Autobots. Get our ass up to this door, which is the door I want to be in. And this puts us in the room that I was going for. Yay. Now is this, I think you have to use a power bomb on that too. Yep. And that'll open up a hallway oh yay fun hallways now what hallway is this this is the life grove tunnel which oh god if this is this room isn't it this fucking room is annoying as hell if this takes me as long as it took me last time i'm definitely gonna fast forward this bullshit you gotta do this until you can go to the upper part of the room but this can get really annoying really fast like really fast because the fact that it's not it's bigger than what the morph ball is kind of makes you lose momentum if you don't land right either way god this is annoying oh god i was so close ah oh, see when you fuck it up then you spin all out and fuck it all up so now i gotta get my momentum again oh, god this is, gonna be, this is gonna be a nightmare to fucking watch come on Ugh. 
Come on. Oh, damn it, hit the wall. Yeah, see, if you press over or anything, oh, God, you start getting all off track, and it kind of ruins your momentum, and you hit the wall, and it fucks it all up. And then you get to do it all over again, which is always fun. Oh, get up there. Come on. Get up there. Ha! Ah, God damn. All right. Uh, fast forward. Oh, God. Awesome. It's the first one. No, no, please like Got it! Oh my god. Oh no! No! That did not just happen. Oh, oh come on. Oh, gotta go ah. There it is. Woo! Okay. I think up here we just use a regular bomb? Yeah, okay. You just drop in and get ourselves a f easy missile expansion. And now I gotta fucking get myself out of here too. Don't forget about that part. Which is nowhere near as difficult. But goddamn, how many tries did that take me? That took me, that took me in like four minutes in real time. I don't know how long I fast forwarded that to, but hopefully it wasn't too boring for you to watch me do that over and over again. Anyway, so this is the room we were heading towards, and in here we get our hands on the almighty, the super, almost not even useful at this point, X-ray visor. Yay! And the only reason it's useful at this point is because. We'll be running into a lot of the same enemy that it's useful on. Anyway, in this room, what you might not know to do when you first get here is to use a power bomb. That will open up the room a little bit more, and you can you can uh, see that this room is very big, and it's kind of kind of interesting because you actually go through more of the room than is actually looks like you can via the the map. If you look at the map, I'm like outside the map right now. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah threw me off too anyways but now that we're in here oh fuck 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 what the hell was that shit what the hell was that shit fucking like joystick why oh, you disobey me joystick ugh god this is the room I was talking about that was annoying I was thinking it was the great tree hall or the great tree room but this is the room the life grove ugh get falling down in this room is just a pain in the ass because of how you what it takes to get back up and yes I'm probably gonna fall at least one more time in this episode unless I'm careful which, most of the time, I am, but we'll see. The enemy I was talking about that the X-ray visor is very useful on is the Chozo Ghost. Now, did I scan a Chozo Ghost? I did scan one, right? Like, I did, right? All right, just double checking, because sometimes Chozo Ghost is one of those enemies that I forget to scan. But anyways, now that we have that, we can follow their movements exactly, and I am just getting wrecked by them because I can't switch beams, which is all I'm trying to do. Anyway. And I'm, I should be moving around more, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Alright. Come on. Come on. Stop being a noob. Stop being a noob. Find one. And just hit him with a missile. Oh, God. It's very annoying. The only good part is you can see where they go. It still doesn't make them any easier, to be honest. It just makes you be able to track them easier. Alright. We got one. He's not dead, but I hit him at least. We hit two of them. Now I just want to kill one. Die, you son of a bitch. The best part about it now is the fact that I have 11 energy tanks. It really saves me from worrying about dying or anything like that. Fucking die. Alright, that should be one dead. Now, the other two should be almost dead already because I already hit them with super missiles. Where's the last one at? Where are you at, you bitch? It's actually almost easier to find these guys via your, your radar, which I didn't actually point out you can use against these guys. Holy crap. The best part is they don't scare me as much when I'm in x-ray mode. Since everything's all white, nothing really scares me. But for that, we open up ourselves a new, I guess, opening. I don't really know what that accomplishes at this point. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, you definitely don't want to fall from here, so be careful. Now, if we can get up to the top of here, this is the part we want to get to, but I think... 
We still got one more thing to do. Actually, oh no, I forgot to do it already. It's actually down here. I'm stupid. Ah, we have to climb the room again. That's all right. This is the last thing to do in this room anyway, so I'm not even tripping. What you do is you, uh, you bomb that. It opens up this. Then you hit it with bomb. No, 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 no. You hit it with... You use the spinner. And you just spin for a little bit until it activates. And what does it accomplish? Well, we're about to get our hands on... I think this is our third artifact. I think I only have two. So that I think this gives us three. Just double jump on up. And boom! Got our hands on another artifact. This one is called the Artifact of Chozo. It's number 7 of 12. Fantastissimo. Fantastikimo? Fantastissimo? Ah, whatever. Fantastic. That's all that really matters. Alrighty then. So, I think... Is that all I want to do in this episode? Yeah, I guess so. Works for me. So, that's going to conclude this episode of Metroid Prime. Next time on Metroid Prime... We're going to head our ass back to the Chozo Ruins. In fact, I might just meet you there. See you guys then. Peace.